Hello guys, welcome back to our channel here in Maestro Electrico. And for today's topic, we have here the two bulbs controlled by two gum single pole switch. Okay, so before we have to proceed on our discussions about the two bulbs controlled by two gum single pole switch, of course, we need also to review our discussions regarding the three cycles of current to flow in the circuit. Of course, in the first cycle, we have from source to load, second cycle from load to switch, and the third cycle is coming from the switch going back to the source line. So that is the three cycles of the current to flow in the circuit. So uh, we have here in our diagram here, we have the symbol for the circuit breaker we have here. So this one is our circuit breaker, of course. So in the right side, I'm... Uh, I'm going to use line 1 here and the other side is line 2. In our discussions, we always use the line 1 as our neutral line. Okay, this is our neutral line and line 2 of course will be the live wire or the hot line. So we have the neutral line and the hot line for line 2. Okay, so in the first cycle of the current flow, in the diagram, of course, we have this one, line 1, coming from the line 1 to the load. Now, we have uh, two loads in the circuit. We have the bulb A and the bulb B. So, meaning to say, this line here coming from line 1, we will do this like that, and then this line will be used here to supply the other load of the circuit, which is the bulb B. Okay, so we will use that one here also. So two wires already. Plus this one wire coming from the bulb A. That could be around three wires in the circuit already. Okay, so we have one, two, three in the first cycle. Okay, in the first cycle. Next is this one, this wire. So this could be right here. And another line coming from here is for the first cycle also. So we have two wires only. One, two, again, in the first cycle also. So first cycle and the first cycle, two lines coming from the load connected together with the wires coming from the line one or the neutral line. So that is our first cycle. Now, in the second cycle, of course, uh, we have it here now, the two gum single pole switch. So as you can observe, we have we only have three wires. So we have one, two, and the common terminal. So in the common terminal, of course, that is intended for the third cycle. Now in our second cycle, of course, a bulb A to be controlled on, let's say for instance, this is for one. Okay? So we will use this one here. Right here. Okay? So this one. Then, okay, so that is for bulb A. So we have two wires only in the second cycle. This is our second cycle, right? Then, for this bulb B, to be controlled also using with our two gun single pole switch. So intended for the line 2 here, okay? So this one distributed here first okay so two wires for the second cycle second cycle here and then this wire so another two wires also right here okay so we have one two for the second cycle Okay, so still on the second cycle. And of course, we will proceed on our third cycle, which is from the control device going back to the source line, which is line 2 or the hot line. Now, in this case, we only use the common terminal. So this common terminal, of course, uh, going to be distributed around this part here. So third cycle here. Then this one. Of 
for the third cycle. Okay? So this is the third cycle. Second cycle, second cycle, second cycle. Alright? So, let's move on to our actual wiring connections. But before that, uh, we will discuss it first as to how to wire the two gun single pole switch like this. At the back of this two gun here is this one. And this is the uh, basic diagram as we have to discuss on how to wire two gun single pole switch. Right. So as you can observe, this is actually our two gun single pole switch. So at the back of this, uh, at the back portion of the two gun single pole switch is actually look like this. So we have one, two, three, four, four holes. The same also at the other side. We have one, two, three, four, uh, four holes also. So we have four holes, four holes then. So we have it here now. So in this case, uh, we will discuss the control mechanism of the uh, two gun single pole switch. On the top of these two, two holes here uh, is actually uh, interconnected to each other. Alright? So meaning to say, once we are going to test the two holes on that portion, there is actually a continuity to each other. There is a continuity to each other. Okay? So, we will try to check. Alright? So, meaning to say, there is a continuity from both sides of these holes right here. So, the same also on the lower portion. The same. Meaning to say, there is also a continuity of the wires coming from this portion. So, also the same on the other side as we test. Meaning, there is also a continuity in that portion. The lower side, there could be also a continuity on the other side. Meaning to say, those two holes right there are just the same in line. So, what should we do first in the installation of the two gun single pole switch? So, uh, we will have to form or we will have the jumper of course this like this one so we put some we put some wire around this part like this so there is a jumpered wire on that portion so meaning to say you have to do this like this wire right here so you on, only have to do is to connect right here insert that wire like that okay then there is already a continuity from both ends of the wires. So let's check right here. From this portion right here should have a continuity already. Alright. So meaning to say they are now interconnected to each other. So meaning to say from this portion guys would be our common terminal. So this line here should be our common terminal or to the other portion. So, we will try to uh, put some wire. It's either here, automatic as our common terminal, since we have the jumper around that part. Or, it could be right here in the other side. So, we will try the other side. Okay? So, meaning to say, this wire here is automatically our common terminal. Just like what happened to the other side. So, we have here an, a tag using the electrical tape, meaning this wire here is our common terminal. So, for our line 1 and line 2, this one right here, so you can insert it well, right? Then the other side is, is here. That is how are we going to connect two gun single pole switch. So let us now proceed on the actual wiring connections with our two gun single pole switch uh, to control our two bulbs right here. So as we discussed already, we have here an indicator uh, using the electrical tape, meaning to say this is intended for our live wire. So this one is intended for uh, neutral line, meaning this is for our line 1. So line 1 in the first cycle, of course, connected to one of the terminals coming from the load. So we have here one load and of course we need to use one wire also coming from the other side so to supply the second bulb of the circuit. So this one here to be connected together so this is around three wires. Uh, you can refer also on our diagrams. Okay.
So these are the three wires right here. Right. That is our first cycle, the first side. And then, of course, this wire intended for another wires right here. So, this is it. Another first cycle. Then, we will proceed directly on the second cycle. In the second cycle, states that uh, from the load going to the control devices. So we will only select one here. So this, since this is our common, so this one is intended for one. Okay, so connect together. Right here. For our second cycle. Okay, from the load again going to the, the control device so we will use this wire to reach on the other side of the box right here so use this one first right here Remove some part in the last portion right here. Then this wire to be connected on number two of our uh, lines coming from the two gum single pole switch like that. So therefore, uh, two wires here connected also to end for our uh, second cycle. This one. Then. Lastly, our second, uh, third cycle, of course, the third cycle right here. So this is intended for the, the last cycle. We have the common terminal, and we have here also from the hotline, so from the control device, going back to the source line, connected together in order to complete our uh, circuit. Okay, so this is it, guys. That's the last portion of the wiring connection, the third cycle. All right. Then we will proceed on the installation process. Of course, we use the electrical tape like this. Right? So we will use electrical tape. Okay. Then we will insert that uh, wire connections on the junction boxes. This way. Right? Alright, then we will now try our circuit. Yes. So we have here our extension cord here. Use as our source line. Uh, before we energize, of course, as I before I forgot, we will check it first the connection for some problem. So I'll switch on here. We will test this one. Okay, then switch on, meaning 
there is a resistance meaning that the circuit is okay another all right so there's no problem with our circuit so we can energize it now switch off again so energize the circuit breaker first number one on the other side okay so off off switch on switch off switch off switch on switch on switch off thank you for watching guys